so we're recording the vlog and a lot of things are going on. For example, Dad is cooking over there. So if you hear any weird sounds, that's why. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about things I'm thankful for versus things I'm not fit thankful for. Because let's be honest, nobody's thankful for everything in their life. For example, I hate Thanksgiving. <laughs> Sue me. I hate, like, okay, the only way we celebrate Thanksgiving is by eating turkey and I pulled up a list of Thanksgiving foods, and I'm gonna tell you the ones I hate. I hate cranberries. I hate black, brown, dark brown gravy, whatever the heck gravy that comes from, it's disgusting, and that's the one we use at Thanksgiving. I only like chicken gravy. I'm very picky, if you're not starting to notice. I hate stuffing, and sweet potatoes, and, of course, turkey. I think it's disgusting, but I do love ham, and mashed potatoes, and almost everything that we eat at Christmas, which is why it's my favorite holiday. Actually, that's not true. Christmas is my favorite holiday for like a million different reasons, which is why I cannot wait till Friday because that's the day we can all stop complaining, Ugh, it's not even Thanksgiving yet and everyone's talking about Christmas. Well, you know what? Nobody likes Thanksgiving. Whatever. So anyways, there's some of the things I'm not thankful for Thanksgiving. But what I really am thankful for, because I am a thankful person, and I don't need Thanksgiving to tell me that I'm thankful, is obviously the cheesy ones like family and friends, yes, blah, blah, blah. Which brings me to my next point. One of the things I could have benefited from hearing when I was younger is this story, okay? So when I was in high school, I thought I would look at these like families, like now you would call them Facebook families, but Facebook wasn't as big of a thing back then. But I would see them and I'm like, wow, their family's so perfect. I really wish I could be like in their family. But now I'm like, my family is pretty dysfunctional, but I am so glad I'm in this family. Like the amount of weird things I do and my family still continues to love me and not judge me a lot is pretty amazing. So that's a thankful thing. <laughs> um. Another thing I'm thankful for is braces. Every time I look in the mirror, I just smile even more. I'm like, oh my gosh, I finally have braces. I've wanted braces since like seventh grade. I remember like a year ago sitting at church and talking to Nick and being like, wow, I really wish I could have braces, but they're so expensive. And you know what? Now I have braces. So that's a miracle. God thing. Everything's a God thing. Um, uh, another thing I'm thankful for, I remember sitting in the church after 6 p.m. service and having um, Pastor Nick and Pastor Paul and a few other people pray over me about going to basic training. And I remember thinking, holy crap, it's gonna be so long before I see these people again. And at basic, going to church every week and being like, oh my gosh, it's taking so long to see my church family. Like I miss them so much. And now I get to give Pastor Nick a hug two times a week. It's pretty amazing. I love my church family and I love seeing them every week. So that is amazing. Um, oh, fun fact, uh, inspirational thing of the week. I don't, this is totally off subject, but recently I have decided to give up crushes. And you're like, what? Crushes just happen. And I need to explain myself. I'm definitely not giving up my crush on Mark Ruffalo. He is a beautiful Hulk and just a beautiful, like, looking person. I don't know what he believes or whatever. I just like looking at him, you guys. He is so handsome. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> but, um, I have decided to give up crushes in the fact that if I see a guy, I'm gonna decide, okay, if this person asked me out, would I say yes or no? But that's as far as I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna think, oh, what would it be like if, if he was my boyfriend or he decided to like marry me one day and dwell on it and like Facebook creep him and all that stuff. For the same reason I gave up romance movies. That just creates unrealistic expectations for guys that probably will never even know that I exist or want to date me. So there's really no point and it just probably crushes you and your hopes for that one person who may not be the one that God has for you. So in other words, I've given up crushes, but I haven't given up uh, what would you call it? Window shopping? Looking at nice looking celebrities? I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, that's all I got. Coffee's delicious. Oh my gosh! 
Just kidding, there's one last thing. I turned 21 about two months ago, and I've had wine. But let me tell you, there is nothing in the world that is better than coffee. Not even wine. So, on that note, drink coffee and have a very happy Thanksgiving. But I, for one, will be excited for the day after Thanksgiving, which is the start to the Christmas season. Cheers.